Hey, it's Austin from TurboLab. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the differences in the Batmo wheel and the Wicked wheel too. Both of these wheels are direct drop-ins for the Cummins uh, 6.7 and the 5.9 HE351CW. As far as the differences, the cost is the biggest difference in the Batmo wheel. If you looked it up, it's around $400. As the design, you'll notice that the hub, which is the center here, is 19 millimeters here and only 14 millimeters on the hub on the Wicked Wheel 2. The blade thickness of this one actually varies from 1 millimeter all the way down to 0.8 millimeter, where the blade thickness of the Wicked Wheel 2 is just 1, mil one millimeter all the way around. The weight difference is 140 grams for the Batmo wheel and 126.6 grams for the Wicked Wheel 2. However, the stock wheel is 145 grams, so both of them are still lighter than the stock factory cast compressor wheel. The height of this wheel from here all the way to the tip of the blade is taller on the Batmo wheel, which measures 37 millimeter on the Batmo wheel and then on the Wicked Wheel 2 it only measures 33 millimeters. Another fine detailed difference is you could see the machine lines in the blades on the Wick on the Batmo wheel and on the Wicked Wheel 2 it's a polished design. Also on the Batmo wheel it does have engravings of BMW HX40 as in Batmo wheel not the car and it has a pretty cool bat sign on it which I think is pretty neat and then bullseye power this wheel just reminds me of an S400 compressor wheel because if you notice how the blades have all this curvature as this blade is more like it's very straight. Wheel. The double Batmo wheel has this blade design on the top blades, but it also has it on the bottom blades. The Batmo wheel also doesn't have any balance marks on it, but the Wicked Wheel 2 has a balance mark. I'm not really big up on uh, factory drop-in billet compressor wheels, but it kind of does make sense in some ways because the Wicked Wheel 2 is almost, or it's about 20 grams lighter than the stock cast wheel, so that kind of makes sense to run that one. As far as the uh, Batma wheel, I would definitely read your reviews because I've known about this wheel for about six years, but never bought one or used one in any of my builds mainly because of the ridiculous price tag. Both of these wheels are machined on a 5-axis machine. Usually these machines are $175,000, which is probably the reason why they want so much for the wheel. Here are some other wheel options that we use in our turbos that we have used over the Batmo wheel. Uh, the 62.45 by 86 by 90 and here's the specs on that 15 millimeter hub 148 grams and 0.7 millimeter blade thickness the 63 by 99 by 103 166.2 grams 14.4 hub and 0.66 blade thickness and the 67 by 89 by 95 this is the most common one that we use but we do have to use a large enough shaft to be able to support this compressor wheel. It's 143.4 grams on this wheel and it uh, has a 15 millimeter hub and half a millimeter blade thickness. Both of these compressor wheels have great characteristics and each of them are not alike so it's hard to compare one to the other as in the hub is the biggest difference that I see on the Batmo wheel had the hub been much smaller on the Batmo wheel, then I would say it would definitely outflow the Wicked Wheel 2. However, being that the Batmo wheel does have a 6 plus 6 blade design, it's likely that it will outflow the 7 blade 
Wicked Wheel 2 at higher boost levels, but with the Wicked Wheel 2 having a 7 blade design, usually a 7 blade compressor wheel will outflow a 6 blade compressor wheel at lower boost levels. Below I will link to all the billet wheels that we sell. These are items that we stock and use for our own turbo builds. As for which one you should choose, I'm not really big on changing up compressor wheels that are a factory re replacement. Usually I increase the size and machine out the housings for a larger wheel. So my opinion of this choice of compressor wheel will be a little bit biased towards somebody else's. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.